This is, this crime cannot be forgiven. None of us should forgive this crime. Gambling with children's blood for political gain, it doesn't get worse than this. So Israel now got stained by blood. This is what Hamas wanted to happen from day one. They wanted to sacrifice thousands of children so Israel can take the blame. Digging tunnels and bunkers under hospitals, schools, launching missiles. A Hamas misfire, how many people killed at a hospital and they went so fast to blame Israel and the rest of the world listened to them and listened to their propaganda. Nobody is concerned to check what is true and what is false. Whatever that serve our political and short-term interest, we go for it. Suicidal, not knowing that we are going against evolution. We are going against the collective consciousness of humanity. We are going against the interest of children, the defenseless children who has no one to speak on their behalf. They don't have the power to discern. And yes, they are dying. But who's causing all this death? Blame is the cheap way. It's the way of the coward. Those who have the courage take responsibility. They don't blame. If Hamas is not defeated, if Hamas is not eradicated in Gaza, we'll set the model. We will give the freedom to so many radical groups around the world. And this is just a warning. If you really care for the global security, and I speak as a person who was part of the counterterrorism effort against radical Islamists, if Hamas is not defeated in Gaza, it will inspire many groups around the globe. They will see that few thousands of savages can black, black, blackmail the international community, the superpowers, and bring democracies to their knees. Many of them are watching now, and many of them are very happy about how the world is responding. And many of them are satisfied to see the state of confusion and fear and anxiety. This is the time to get united. Because if Israel fails in Gaza, all of us, we will be next.